Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, this is a, a little bit different <clears throat> than I normally do. I've, I've been trying different things with with my uh, <clears throat> software and uh, the camera recordings and I finally figured out how to do a screen grab and uh, what we're going to do tonight is uh, I'm going to uh, show you what I made. This is my uh, Cuts A Lot Pro uh, software for the vinyl cutter and I'm going to no, I don't want to save changes. I'm going to open up uh, open up the file, so to speak, and I see if I can find it here. I don't remember where I put it. Hmm, let's see here. <laughs> now I won't be able to find it. Isn't that something? Here we go. P51 paint. Now these particular files were made on this software <clears throat> and the software is relatively easy to use, pretty self-explanatory. And I will just do a, a, a quick AMA number for you to, uh, to show you how it works. So first you come up here to the tools bar and you uh, select text and we're going to type my number in and then I like to because I, I don't see well anymore really I like to make them bigger so I can see what we're doing and now that I have that selected you can come over to the uh, to the text bar here and you get that highlighted in blue and once it's highlighted in blue you can use the up and down arrow keys to change the font that way you don't have to keep clicking on things so you can watch the numbers you know what you just laid out and see what appeals to your eye the best and once you figure out what's the best Let's try this here, and we'll set it italic. How does that look? Well, that's all right, but it, it would be nice if we had a little more stroke to it. So let's go with the width. We come up here and we uh, we add some width. Now we're going to have to add the tracking, that, and that's a spacing between the letters. So we'll make it a little larger and add a little more stroke and that looks pretty good then you can take and resize that letter or font to anything you want and if you notice off here to the left hand side there is a, a ruler and there's a ruler on top and the vinyl that I'm using is 24 inches wide and it's on a roll of, uh, you know, a hundred feet or whatever. So you don't have to set this length. But I try to keep my layouts in 30 inch increments. So that would be 24 by 30. So <clears throat> what, I, what I like to do is make a bounding box. So we're going to come over to the shapes, uh, to the shapes tool kit, and we're going to pick a, a, a rectangle. We pick a rectangle and it puts it up here. We're going to drag it large so we can move it. And stretch her out. And I'm going to close that out. Now the appearance box, up here you have a fill color. If you notice this is white, you can change the color of that fill to make it red or whatever. And the same with the letters. So we could change the fill color of the letter to black. Now 
theoretically you could draw with this and uh, you know send to front or whatever but I have better programs for drawing such as Photoshop and and things like that but that's neither here nor there what I like to do is I will take this letter and you push this button where is it oh, position and size there we go push this button right here that centers it in the page and that centers it on top of the page now normally I don't have all this stuff in here but we'll give it a try and see if I can grab everything you know what I'm not going to be able to so let's do this Let's close this file up and, and we'll just make a, a new file because I, I don't want to alter this file. So file close or new project. No. So we have a new project. We will uh, type out my AMA number that I want. This is so nice uh, to have this type software. It's you know unbelievable we'll make it look nice we'll center that on the page and then we'll make the rectangle come up here to the toolbar we make a rectangle and we're going to center that and we'll take the uh, bounding box color off Oop cancel color none now you wonder why do I have a bounding box because when I go to cut this you have to think of everything as it's on a sheet and we're going to object uh, group that and that allows me to move this bounding box around and if you want to duplicate it you just right click copy left click paste Excuse me page and there you have the second one for the other side and the same with your AMA numbers so on and so forth the fastest way to do that is to paste another one come in ungroup it object object why won't it come apart hmm. edit object there we go ungroup there we go and now we can change things like uh, AMA and we'll back that up and then make a space and we'll center that on the page mm, yeah, maybe appearance oh I know why it's in the text bar there we go center and bring that down to center and now the uh, bounding box is not right so we'll stretch this over or you could do it in two positions where you could move this uh, so you had a duplicate bounding box and that probably be, would be best so we'll copy paste then you can use the up, up and down arrow keys to align things up and get them all centered then I always group the object object group and that way you can move them around so you have <clears throat> one set and then copy them and then paste and this software is just I mean I've taught myself how to use this software and in a matter of just a few moments it was no big deal and of course if you want to do military fonts or or another thing that I did was 
<clears throat> is I went to the uh, internet and uh, we'll look up uh, let's say I was looking up Old Crow so we want to look up the images like I told you hit the image button and I made all the markings uh, for this airplane including the numbers on the uh, you know this B6S and uh, and the, mark, the tail numbers and, and all that with that software. So once you, once you get that, or we could do this even. Let's, uh, let's show you how I grabbed my stars and bars. Uh, Rondell, R-O-N-D-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I think it was, no, that ain't right. Rondell. Enter. Well, there's your British rondelle. You could grab that and bring it in. Uh, let's try stars and bars. S T A. Okay, here we go. Could make you could you know theoretically make anything that you can see on the internet, and I'll show you how that's done. But uh, we'll grab uh, we'll grab the stars and bars here, and look at these images, and say that I wanted to to make this is what Billy had on his uh, airplane, or you know, or this or this one, or whichever one you wanted to do. But we'll just pick this one. You want to file. Uh, save as, save in jazz, and uh, we're going to go to the uh, desktop, and that's the, in the 1216, and we'll save that. And then you close this out. Now, if I wanted to bring that in, file, we want to trace. We're going to trace the image, and then we have to browse for it. And uh, on that file, that was the numbered file, so we're going to pick that, and we know it's that one. We open it up, see how it makes a nice tracing of that image, and we're going to click OK, and that brings that image in. Come on, I've got to grab it now. Okay, now over to the right here, you'll see that it, it has uh, has some numbers. So we're going to make this circular because we, we know that's what it has to be, 3 by 3. If you hold the shift button or the control button, let's see, I can't remember. Shift, yeah, it's the, it's the shift. It will stay its correct size and you can make it any size you want. Now we have it on the fill cut. Let's, let's uh, preview the cut. View uh, cutter. Preview cut. What that does is it removes all the fill color. And that will give you the path that the cutter is going to cut on. And uh, I don't have my cutter plugged in right now. Because I've already made the decals. But we'll go ahead and pretend that we're going to send this to the cutter so we we're going to cut with the US cutter and that brings you over here and this is the cutter setup you choose uh, the model that you have and the USB connection and the port is auto detect so on and so forth and you can you know you're previewing the cut this is the bed of the cutter this is the roll of the material and this is the way that this particular cut is going to come out and believe me this cutter I don't know how I don't know how I, I did this stuff I you know I, I used to use uh, the old way with uh, shelf paper and then I would go to the sign shop and and do that but this cutter sure has made things a lot easier and anything 
that I could see on the internet I can cut on this just like I showed you with the trace image and that's basically how I did the max B and uh, I just thought that I'd share that with you this is not a tutorial um, it's not a uh, review of the uh, the cuts a lot it's just me showing you that you know there are different ways to do things and if you're willing to open your mind up and you know learn some new things you know it makes it makes your job building models a lot easier and uh, trust me computers was way beyond me years ago so thanks for listening to me babble uh, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel and stun hanger I hope that you guys are enjoying it be sure to like subscribe and share this and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Till then, tie lines.